When satellites went into orbit, they took naval communication to new heights and changed the way the fleet operates. Ship communications is almost totally by satellite today. Let me tell you how critical it is. When I was originally in the Navy, you worried about did your feed pump run? You worried about did your screw turn? Now you see ships saying, I can't get underway, my network doesn't work. So that's how dependent we've become on networks and communicating and collaborating between ships. With the growing requirements for ship-to-ship -ship communications, it doesn't take long for satellite traffic to become congested. The solution is the Floating Area Network, or FAN. The FAN is a mobile wireless mesh network that allows multiple Navy vessels at sea to route network traffic between one another line of sight. Although FAN employs industry commercial off-the-shelf equipment, it is more advanced than the wireless network seen in an office building or military bases. FAN goes beyond the standard wireless topology and provides viable links between ships in an ever-changing maritime environment. Using highly specialized routing software, FAN quickly evaluates numerous environmental factors such as RF strength, electronic noise, relation motion, pitch and roll in making routing decisions, thus optimizing performance and ensuring that the best data path is always chosen. Anytime you got ships within sight of each other, if they can use 802.11 or uh, direct loading area network to communicate back and forth, it saves valuable satellite network which will always be in demand. It actually makes a broadband capability to do operations with that you can never do with the satellites with the amount of bandwidth available today. And the key word in this is collaboration. It allows them to really collaborate in a high fidelity environment. Ships can share graphic rich and streaming media, PowerPoint communications, voice over IP, and with fans capacity for video conferencing, officers can meet face to face without the expense and danger of transporting personnel from one ship to another. Not only can ships communicate with one another, they can hop from ship to ship to ship to shore. There's no central network. Ships can join or leave the network as they come within range of the group. FAN also opens up communication with allied forces that are now bandwidth limited, making the dream of the 1,000 ship Navy feasible. Smaller ships relying on very expensive commercial SATCOM can also use FAN to piggyback on satellite communications of larger ships. More efficient use of bandwidth means a better quality of life for everyone on board. FAN will route traffic in the smartest, most efficient manner. Existing Navy systems will be integrated into a seamless network. FAN delivers excellent performance and will be a cost-effective solution. The floating area network is going to allow naval forces to have a much larger bandwidth than they've ever been able to have before. The fleet has called for more bandwidth. The floating area network will meet that call.